Hi, Matt. Welcome to Buffalo. I'm Maddie Glab. I'm one of the team reporters with the Buffalo Bills. Um, good to get a chance to talk to you. I know you uh, signed earlier or later last week, but what was attractive about Buffalo? Why did you want to come and play for the Buffalo Bills, knowing that they already had a couple running backs, too, who are, of course, younger than you? Um, I think just the team environment. Um, you know, I know a couple guys on the team that, you know, I played with before and um, that I even played college with and, you know, just the way, um, you know, just the team is and um, not only that, but they're winning. You know, um, you want to be a part of a winning team, a team you feel like that's moving forward, um, you know, for the future. And I feel like the Bills are doing that. So, you know, I'm excited to be a part of the team. And how did this come together? When did you start talking to the Bills or Brandon, Sean, and, and how did this one-year deal come together for you? Um, I would say probably over like the last week, you know, uh, my agent told me they expressed interest in me. And, uh, you know, that was obviously, you know, one of my top options and, uh, you know, be able to, you know, get everything, you know, together as far as contract wise and things worked out quickly. Awesome. Thanks, Matt. Thank you. Matt Breeder, Mookie Hawk as well for Sports 1080. Welcome to Buffalo, big guy. Appreciate you. Um, how would you, um, become a difference maker in this offense this year um by doing whatever you know role they want me to do um you know I told the coaches you know I'm not I'm not a selfish player so I'm not one of those dudes you know who's worried about you know carries and getting the ball um as long as you're winning that's all that matters you know I think we have one goal in mind and you know that's to win the big thing so um you know as long as we you know get to that goal everything else will work itself out absolutely and um you know, Buffalo is a team on the rise. And, you know, back in days, players didn't want to come to Buffalo. Um, so when you signed with Buffalo, what other NFL player you told that you were signing to Buffalo? And what was their reaction when you told them that? Um, I think the first person I told was uh, Jared McKinnon. You know, uh, me and him were like brothers, went to college together. We played on the same team together in the NFL. And, uh, you know, he was just happy for me, you know, because, you know, it was a new challenge, new opportunity. And, uh, you know, I mean, yeah, Buffalo, it's cold, but, hey, you know, it's, it, you're playing the NFL, so, you know, how upset can you be? Absolutely, man. Wish you nothing but the best and welcome. Yep, thank you. Hey, Matt. Um, Matt Prino here from Syracuse.com. You mentioned you knew some people on the team. Uh, who are those people, and can you take me a little bit more into those conversations, you know, while you were making your decision and what they said about what it's like to play here in Buffalo? Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. No, Emmanuel Sanders, um, you know, he had just signed. And then, you know, Tyler Bass, um, he's been there for a year. You know, me and him have been in contact over the last year and uh, me and him played together in college. And, you know, just by him, you know, saying how much, you know, the coaches and the team is very close. Um, I feel like that's hard to find the NFL, you know. And um, I, I once again, I go back to my days when I was with the 49ers. And I think that's part of a big reason why, you know, we went to the Super Bowl. And I feel like that's part of a big reason why the Bills had so much success last year, you know, going until the end of the season. And, you know, they're one game away from the Super Bowl. So um, I feel like, you know, we get, they got the right chemistry. They got the right guys on the team. And like I said, I feel like it's a good fit for me. And I'm excited to be part of the team. You look at your season last year, probably obviously not how you wanted it to go. But the one game I saw that you did have double-digit carries, you know, the yards per carry were, were really good. So when you're having the conversations, whatever conversations you had with Brandon or Sean or whoever, you know, what do they say they, they envision for you in this offense and what you can bring? Oh, man, uh, a bunch of things. You know, we, we talked about whenever I want to, you know, spoil everything, you know, let you guys guess a little bit. But, um, no, nah, man, <laughs> I think I think the most important thing is that, you know, uh, they, they believe in me, you know. Um, I'm not saying that the other teams didn't, but, you know, it's always good, you know, when you feel like um, they have a vision for you and they can, you know, see you, you know, flourishing in the uh, offense. And, and, you know, I know Devin and Zach, you know, they're going to do a great job too. So um, I'm excited to get to work with those guys. And, I mean, I'm excited to be part of the team. And one more before I get out of here, because I just see one more hand up. You know, you had a lot of success in San Francisco where there was a lot of guys that contributed. How important is it in the league now to have two, three, four backs that can all contribute? Um, I think it's very important. And that goes back to what I said before. Um, you can't be selfish, you know, because you never know, you know, what time of year, you know, it's going to be your turn. Um, you know, guys do go down. It's a, you know, fortunate nature of our business. So I feel like you got to be, you know, ready at all aspects. And, you know, we're always going to be as good as our, you know, weakest link. So you want everyone on the team to be on the same level. You be good. So, you know, just be humble and don't be selfish and everything else will work itself out. Thanks, Matt. Congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate you. Hey, Matt. John Scott from Spectrum News here in Buffalo. Welcome to town. Uh, piggybacking off of that, how do you stay ready and be able to be effective when in a platoon and in multi-back setting here some guys they struggle because they, they need the carries to get into a groove 
How do you navigate that? Um, you know, just, just, you know, prepare like you're, you know, the starter every week, you know, whether you are or you're not, just always be in that position of, you know, you know everything, um, you know, don't let it sneak up on you like, oh, you, well, you weren't expecting, you know, to play this week or just always be ready. And I think everything else will take care of itself. And I saw the, the friendly back and forth with you and Isaiah McKenzie, uh, you know, <laughs> do you have a response to him in regards to, uh, you know, the race and, and the wheels and, and who do you think uh, is truly the fastest? And do you think maybe you're the fastest on the entire team? Uh, man, like I said, we're, we're going to have to go up there and we'll, we'll race that out and, uh, you know, we'll let the race do the talking for itself. But uh, now nah, in all respect, you know, Isaiah is a great player. Um, you know, I, I played against him, you know, in college, I think it was like triple overtime or something. I was at Georgia Southern and he was at Georgia. So um, he's a great player and I can't wait to, you know, um, you know just be his teammate. All right. Do it while the media is out there. We, we could use the entertainment. Thanks <laughs> a lot, man. Got you. Hi, Matt. Uh, this is Jay Skirsky with the Buffalo News. Congratulations and welcome to town. Um, it was touched on earlier, but your season last year down in Miami, um, I think it was about half the carries that you had, you had from the previous two years in San Francisco. Just how would you, uh, when you analyzed your, your year last year, what, uh, what conclusions did you draw? Um, you know, I, like I said, I, I did what I you know, was asked to do, you know, part of my role. Um, like I said, you know, I wasn't in there, you know, asking for carries. I just wanted us to win. And, you know, that's one thing we did do down in Miami is we turned it around. Uh, we got the team winning. So, you know, everything else, you know, I can only control, I can control. That's how hard I play every week. So, um, yeah. Was there a, a level of uh, frustration on your part or was it difficult at times to do that, uh, knowing that your role was maybe a little bit less offensively than it had been the previous couple of years? I mean, you always want to play, but I feel like, you know, uh, once again, me bringing part of that San Fran, backfield and you know learning how to you know you have to be able to not be selfish you know if you want to win so I, I like I said I didn't you know go around pounding and you know complaining about carries you know I just wanted us to win if we were winning that's all I cared about yeah and and John just kind of touched it on uh, touched on it there but you know you're you're known for your speed um just how I, I don't even know do you run 40s in the off season as like part of training uh, no, I don't, I don't necessarily say forties, you know, I do do a lot of, you know, sprint work, um, drill work, you know, um, sometimes I go on the track and run, but you know, um, you know, you're always trying to get faster every year. You always, you know, try to make sure your body's in shape. So, you know, whatever speed work I could do, I'm going to do. Yeah. And just how do you feel like that, you know, has, has, uh, helped your game and, and, and what kind of uh, unique challenge does that, uh, make you for a defense when you're able to do, uh, to use that? Oh, I mean, it creates a lot of problems, you know, especially, you know, when you're, you know, I feel like more so in the uh, the passing game, you know, when you're against a linebacker or someone who's not as, you know, a defensive end, someone's not as fast as you, you know, it's hard for them, struggles for them, to, you know, to keep up with you. And uh, you can create separation in a lot of ways. Thanks, Matt. Welcome to town. Thank you. All right, Matt, that's all for today, man. Thanks, man. All right, appreciate you.